Cast Ranger. Welcome everyone to Extra Extra Cast Ranger, where Raven is the absolute best man for diaper duty. Ha, ha, ha. Funny. Because you can't smell shit! Quite <laughs> literally. Literally, you can't and smell shit. And that's why when he's not here for his investigative ability. Oh, yeah. Because he can't <laughs> smell the leaves. Yeah. We should just make a parody video where we're like detectives. Quick, Raven, sniff out the scene! Really? You. Just just glares for a few minutes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No, just what? Gar, I need you to fi- I need you to check for fingerprints. Got it. I finger- can't see anything. Look at a fingerprint. Maybe you took off. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Wait, it's just echo, 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 echo. It doesn't help that I'm wearing sunglasses and hat. I don't trust it? your opinion on anything regarding echo because, as we've seen earlier today, you still don't know the difference between an echo and a reverb. That was yesterday. Still counts! I just said that the Schwann... We all have problems! I just said that the Schwann needed a reverb! And you were correct, and yeah. then this guy turned around and said it needed an echo, and I'm like, no, that's not what that is! Schwa! 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 That's an echo! Well, well, an echo is the name of a Ben 10 alien, and a reverb is yes. the name of a DC villain. Yes, it is. Echo, echo. Niner, Niner? I know, I was I was a kid in the 2000s. My, my favorite Ben 10 form is Necrom. I like the tiger. Oh, you mean I like the, yes. I like the tiger one voiced by John DiMaggio because he's like, whatever! Oh, Raph? Yeah, he's my favorite. Welcome to Extra Cast. I already Ranger. said welcome! Let well, me tell you something, Lane Bethune. Welcome again to Extra Cast. Extra whatever! Cast for a third time. Uh, we funny. have. Uh, four out of five core casters. Uh, Ray Caster is joining us through Discord again. And Emily's yep. away getting married. Wait, uh, no, she she's going to see someone get married. That that's what I meant. We have <laughs> we have to follow her and stop her. If Emily was here, she'd be like, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. To, to quote, she's off playing Tokimeki Crisis. There you go. <laughs> to quote Wayne's World too. Oh but... Jesus God, no. <laughs> Uh, and I'm here because we needed a fifth guy for the Megazord. Yay! Yeah. yeah! Oh, this no, is, no, the Megazord. It's one of those armor. episodes where we use an auxiliary arm. Oh. So, so toy sales go for the roof. Hmm? There's something funny I noticed. The uh, week that me and Crunch Brown and we mentioned that we were playing Kamen Rider Chronicle. Oh, yeah. We weren't on for, an, for until just now. So it would have been like, okay, we just played and we instantly died because we were never mentioned until Amazon's. <laughs> Yep. You live until abs- uh, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. What? I think I think it might be the sunglasses at night. Inside in a dark room. In the hat. Oh my god. It's Killer Keemstar, everybody! You see the hat? I'm I, Keemstar! No, you see the hat? I am Redcaster. <laughs> oh, you gained a lot of weight. <laughs> And like de age 10 years. Thank you. <laughs> That's true. Oh, the better to see you with, my dear. How does it feel knowing that Raven is literally 10 years older than you? Grandpa Raven. No, he's Daddy Raven. I, no, he's I'm grand- almost- No, when Grand-Daddy his daughter Raven. has a grandchild of her own, then he'll be Grandpa Raven, but he's Daddy Raven now. Did you just say when her when his daughter has a grandchild of yes. her own? Yes. I mean, child, but <laughs> Chances are by that point. <laughs> you know what I meant? Far into the future. Wasn't yeah. this a new show? Let's oh, no. Go to is the it? News. Since when is it? Ah, that kind of hurt. <laughs> he tried to peel off his sunglasses like a fucking 80s flick while wearing it. Go buy oh. Ready Player One, everyone, <laughs> on audiobook and physical book. You're covering headphones. Don't plug shit. Yep. Read the... It's not a cookbook. Audiobook by yeah, it's read by Will R- R- Wheaton. That is a really old book. Even though it came out, actually, when did it come out? Yeah, Gar, I've had that book sitting in my in my place since I was in high school. On the, so on the front I page. don't care. Next, I'm not entirely convinced that Gar was born Next when that page. book came out. <laughs> this book just came out recently, like within the last five years. Oh, I heard about this book when I was in high school. So yeah, that book's old, man. Anyways, as old as Raven. Oh, it might be. I'm sorry. Fuck it. I'm just gonna Google it. Fuck it. I'm gonna Cliff's notes this shit. <laughs> next, first. We didn't even start. Oh, first. Come like next. 
Uh, in, in, on the vein oh, of interesting this. custom works by fans, here's the Japan boy on the Facebook Comrade group shooped up an interesting edit of the Heisei Generations poster, swapping out all the main five riders with the secondary riders. And they're using figure arts, because it's like... Oh, it's... Talent. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah, the book came out in 2011. So it's it's if the Pac-Man movie starred Brave, Spectre, Baron, Mock, and Beast. <laughs> it's a pretty good-looking edit. Except it's all the Pac-Man. It just looks like Pac-Man's trying to go for fucking Baron's shoulder there, just like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it wants the it wants the fruit. It wants the banana. Ooh, banana. Oh, banana. That's not a Pac-Man voice. Why did you do that? No, it's Donkey like, Kong 64. Yeah, every it's time not got, Donkey every Kong. Time got a banana. It's an arcade game. Even Pac-Man's eyes are other Pac-Man. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, <no. laughs> Pac-ception. Pac-ception. Download Hey Say Generation. Sub now. Yeah, it's sub now. We're wow. gonna talk about wow. that soon. You guys are promoting illegal illegal shit. Yeah. Um, Next. Go buy Hostess Cupcakes Summertime version. They're really good. They got sprinkles. Fuck off! <laughs> YouTube.com okay, slash okay. slide drink. Okay, you know what? <laughs> drink Diet Pepsi. <sighs> okay. There, now we've all plugged something. Can I have a sip? Mm-mm. Aww. Nobody better lay a finger on my Diet Pepsi. That's finger. <laughs> Let go of my ego. Are you guys still there? Go watch Stranger Things, season one, on yeah. Netflix. Season two coming out this October. And, and Raven's just glad he's not here right now. <laughs> no, but he's still there. No, yeah. Gar, Gar, you should be glad I'm not there right now. Slap you upside the, the head in his arm caliber. Oh, right. I, I'm just sitting here letting the chaos ensue. Right? <laughs> if I was actually in the room, I probably would have stabbed Gar already. Should, should we, At least should, once. Should we name this episode Plugged In? <laughs> We're just plugging so much shit. Yeah. Plug and play. Yeah. I hate you, but okay. <laughs> and it should just be the picture of like an outlet with just various different advertisers. <laughs> All right. Yay! Plug dead. <laughs> Don't die yet. Again. Bandai right, Namco just... and Fields have released their financial highlights showing the. Financial success of many, several different IPs over the last year or and so. And what's the highest? Is it Gundam? Uh, yeah. It's Gundam. It's yeah, Gundam. of course it's Gundam. But no second, shit. But yeah, I helped. Yeah, the second Fuck one's Fuck you! Kamen Look Rider. what you've done! What? The second one's Kamen Rider. Hooray! Yay! And then Dragon I Ball. I helped in that, too. Wait, wait, wait. Kamen Rider's beating Dragon Ball? Financially? Incredible. Yep. Well, I mean... Honestly, think of the difference here. How many forms and different figures does Common Rider have over Dragon Ball? Thank yeah. you. DX, Roleplay, Toys, Final Figures, Figure Arts. Figure Arts. It's funny, I was having an argument with Kelly today uh, when we were walking from Walmart. I wish I could gift I the like, hands or things. I was like, oh, right I, should get, I should get another level up uh, zombie gamer figure to like put the game driver. She's like, no, don't buy multiple figures. But I'm like, but your brother has, like, multiple figures of Goku. Yeah, but they're all different looking. It's not yeah. the same thing. And Shot. Like, they're all different forms, I different keys. I mean, I'm tempted to complete my laser shrine a little bit further by getting a fucking level 1 laser figure. <laughs> yeah. But that would require buying another laser level 2 and the egg aid level. Or I can, I can give you my egg body. body. Are you not using it? No. Yeah. Someone buy me laser level 2 level up figure for a birthday present next month. Car, do it. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> Anyways, going down the list. Uh, uh, Super Sentai is next after pa or after Dragon Ball. Yeah, after Dragon Ball, and then the next ones. On Pan Man. Man. Raven, you probably know what that is. I have a pretty damn good idea what that is. Right. It's like this chibi superhero We've whose head is made out of a bun. We've talked about yeah. it before. Right. Then Followed we got... by Pretty Cure, which Emily would gush about. Then Yokai Watch, Ultraman. Oh, Pokemon. oh, Ultraman's on the list. Don't Ultraman care. beat Pokemon. Ultraman man, beat man, Pokemon. look at how low those numbers are at that point. Though. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. like, geez, when you actually look at the proper numbers, we're we're still within the top ten on the list. But oh yeah. man, are the numbers the way really, lower at this the point. Real, the interesting bit is there's an anomaly here in this list. Yokai Watch is like pretty far down, but if you look at their full year results from the previous, well, that's year, twenty. That's from 2016. They're, they're, the they're higher than that. They're higher the problem, than everyone else on that list. Yeah, in 2016. The yeah. problem is they're actually organized by the current year. Yeah. Which, which no. 
<laughs> that yokai watch is going down. But, Hooray! But if we scroll down, it's like uh, basically Ultraman reached 800 million views during it. Like Ultraman Orb reached 800 million views during its run. Yep, because Orb's a meme. Yep. And increased of 100% from the previous year, which was Ultraman X. Yep. So is that That's like, not hard. So Orb barely Orb spiked Ultraman's Gar, popularity. If two people watch it this year and one person watched it last year, that's a 100% increase. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Shit. No, that's it. That's just it. Last year it was just Gar. This, this, this year he got Lane to watch. Yeah. It. Yeah. That's what I say. Thanks for influencing the franchise, you guys. Yay! Yay. Uh, Go watch Alt. Listen to Alter Racer out whenever the Gar goes again. Like I've been too, too busy reading this book. Well, it's so addicting. You're not in school anymore. Stop doing homework and do your job. Yeah. Once I get paid. Wait, I did get paid today. Oh shit, I forgot to do something today. <laughs> Anthony, put a reverb on Gar's voice just now. Thank you. Oh shit, and shit, then, shit, shit, shit. That's an echo. I was, I was gonna say that's echo. an echo. <laughs> you fucking did it yourself, you goddamn goob. <laughs> Weren't you a film major? Next. Uh, uh, but, 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 I'm gonna read I next. don't care about the rest of I'm gonna of read this. the next story. Next. Oh. So, uh, Chroma Squad's now on a mobile, so go buy a mobile, noble. No. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it's not just on mobile, though, because uh, the day that we're recording this uh, on Friday, it's also out on PlayStation 4 and X-Bone. But yes, in addition to yesterday's release, for us, yesterday's release on iOS and Android, uh, so now, it, in addition to its previous platforms of PC, Mac, and Linux, it's pretty much on everything at this point, so you have no excuse! Go play it! Yeah. I will. Make it all time. Can I just... The, the picture we are staring at right now, I swear to God, I'm looking at a Sentai team fighting an army of Machoke. That, that's yeah. what they look like. Yeah. <laughs> They're supposed to be putties. That was exactly <laughs> what I called them any time I was explaining the thing. It's like the Machokes. I can't I can't see it as anything else. I, it, wow. It's the Machokes and the Furry Brigade. Yeah. yeah. The, ma the Machokes and the Falcos. And look, it's Larry from Dragon Ball Z A Bridge. You can be, Anyways, you, can be I, you can be me and make an all pink Sentai team. I decided to make mine a sequel to my PC team's run, so half of my team are characters from my PC run, and half of them are New Rangers. Pink is so it's Zio? Mobile, Pretty much. My, my, the team in my game is called OZ Sentai Sentoger, because Sento means war. Yo. <laughs> what, what is that good for? Uh, Absolutely nothing. nothing. An entertaining game. He got it. And a Sentai team. Any of you who are playing Chroma Squad or will be playing Chroma Squad after hearing about this, post in the comments what team you are making. Go, what watch, color. Your, go watch your Squad. videos. The best part this about this game is you can customize your team and mix and match any color combination you want. And like Lane what said, team, you can even... What team will we be making? Is it Hentai Sentai Sex Ranger? <laughs> <laughs> Which we did in With a video one, a while ago. One of the members was a beaver. Um, yeah, there's. Uh, you can make one of your members a beaver, or a robot, or an alien, or a bunch of different fat guys that were Kickstarter backers. You're or Wesley something. Snipes. Sorry? You're forgetting something. Or Wesley Snipes. You have to pay for this. Yeah, there's different prices depending on what platform you get. If, it, if you get it on Android, it's only six bucks, but I had three dollars in Google Play credit saved up because I do the opinion survey, so it only cost me three dollars. Yup! Cool. Next Anyways, it's a cool game, so who gets it? Next! I don't know what's next. Oh! Oh! I got this one. Oh! I got this. Oh my god! Uh, last week I mentioned that there was a rumor that Shin Godzilla was coming out here soon. Uh-huh. And now, it's it's legit. Um, Shin Godzilla... Wait, you're saying Shin Godzilla's real? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Everyone, get into your homes, uh, lock down, steal as much shit as you can, and run. If a DVD... Shin Godzilla is real. Gar yeah. has... If, if a DVD this. knocks on your door, don't answer. He no. can't kill you if you don't invite him in. Wouldn't that be amazing? Just like Gar's like at the door here, is like the, the the doorbell just opens it. Well, who guess who was it? it? Nobody. No, no, no. <laughs> scrolls, scrolls well, down to the English dub cast. Yeah. And oh right. my. Yeah. Here's the God. thing. I see Since the first name and I'm already out. Th this is Funimation. <laughs> so they're like. 
You know what? And then I go We're a little further. And I'm totally in. But yeah, we got ha we got Todd <laughs> Habercorn. Multiple reasons. Or, yeah, motherfucking Habercorn. Yeah, we got Todd Habercorn playing Yaguchi. No, no, the names are in caps. You gotta go Yaguchi. Yaguchi. Uh, we got Nishimura as Kyoko. Kyoko. <laughs> okay, J. Michael it, Tatum. J. Michael Tatum as Akasaka. I can't remember yeah. everyone's face. Yeah, neither can I at this point. But yeah. uh, I don't know who Kent Williams is, but he's Okochi. He sounds uh, Ian, Ian Sinclair, who I have seen at a bunch of cons, is Yasuda. And then there's just a list of a know, lot my, of the A's like that I have never heard of beyond like that. Like saw as Shimura. I know him. He played Soul Eater. Th this is, oh, cool. I think. This is basically Funimation C-list actors. <laughs> wow. Uh, you no, dick. no. Let's, let, let's rephrase that. The first five or so or like are, like, they're, are they're A listers and then the rest of them are their C listers because they were trying to fill space. Oh, Todd, oh, Todd Haber guy, Todd Habercorn, aka Discount Vic Mignana. <laughs> Ken, Ken Williams. I, he, he... I mean, they're buddies. So yeah. <laughs> Ken Williams is the voice of Doctor Jero. Oh, okay. Uh, Mercenary yeah. Tao in Dragon Ball, and then Father in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Okay. Wait. So. Yep. Wait a minute. Father as an Edward and Alphonse. Br Father? It just no. says father, which means he's probably a priest. No, he's. That was the name of the guy who was, looks like Ed and Al's dad, but was actually leading the homunculus. The character's name is Hohenheim, by the way. Oh, right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and no, he was voiced by father, Scott McNeil. But no, I know, father I'm just saying, you're like, Ed no, you mean Ed's dad? His name is Hohenheim. Yeah, yeah his name. Like, I forgot his name, it's been a while. But yeah. I, I haven't watched Brotherhood. I've only watched the original, and I still remember his oh. name. But yeah, uh, Shin Godzilla will be coming out on Blu-ray, DVD, uh, digital ultraviolet. Digital HD ultraviolet. Yeah, which, which is which comes with ultraviolence. Yeah. Oh, uh, it comes with. <laughs> if you look directly under the disc, you get infected by the rays of the sun. Infection. <laughs> ah! uh, it comes out August first. Uh, is there a price? No, there is not. There is no price. So Gar and I have to really get going on our Godzilla marathon. Yeah. We, we, we just made it to the Heisei era. But thank God the Heisei and Millennium eras are really short. Cool. Anyways. Next! Next! Ultra Fight or Blu-ray set got announced. Hey! 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 Uh, this is Alan faking enthusiasm? This eight-part miniseries that is currently being released on YouTube will get a 1080p or probably like 4K, whatever it is on their Blu-rays. But it's coming out on Blu-ray. But, wait, there's more. Uh, include with the set comes with a special vinyl figure. The Ray Batos Unlimited Color Version. Which he's is shiny. Yeah, he's a shiny. In which it's the show's main antagonist. Okay. Oh yeah, it was a cool guy. We saw. Yeah. The figure is 18 centimeters tall and features a color variation only seen in the show, as opposed to its actual design, because there is a like a regular vinyl figure of his actual design. So wait, is where is the other color variation seen? I have no fucking idea. We only watched the first episode. So then why is yeah. this the variation, then? Because it's translucent. I, I'm i not going to attempt to comprehend that. Anyways, Ultra Fight. Ultra Fight Orb. Can I talk about the next uh, news story? Sure. Maybe. No, I'm joking. Go right ahead, kid. So, uh, Power Rangers Luby... Hold Luby on, hold on, hold on. You're... You're gonna pull that shit? Pull Go that ahead, shit. kid. Go ahead, kid. No, how old are you? <laughs> Twenty-one. And Gar, how old are you? Twenty. We went over. Can we go fuck yourself? <laughs> we went over this Wednesday. Did we? Excuse yes. me. Excuse me. If I if I could just solve this problem. Go ahead, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Um, Smooth. Power Rangers Ludi Lin, who played Zack the Black Power Ranger in Lion Gate's Power Rangers theatrical release, is now is now is now what? Merc is now playing the character Merc in the upcoming Aquaman movie, which really, which on one side that's cool, <clears throat> on the other side I was like, 
He's perfect for the OG Aqualad. Come on now. Don't do this to Who's me. Who's Merc? Does this, does this mean he's a Merc? It, if you want an explanation, Merc in the comics is the leader of the armies of Atlantis. Yeah, so that's he's literally, basically, basically literally Aquaman's that's, general. That's the next Both of you were talking at once, one at a time. Ah, that's right here. <laughs> that's what happens when you take off sunglasses! Yeah, it says Ludi Lin will be playing the role of Mark, Aquaman's most trusted ally and the leader of the Men of War, an army of Atlantis cool. that serves on the front line. Aquaman Basically, his the... big time general. So I'm yeah. going to go ahead, because he was the Black Ranger, I'm going to go ahead and call him Black Woman. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> no, it's Black <laughs> That Aquaman will racist. premiere in theaters on December 21st, 2018. Ring, ring. What's that? Oh, hi, Warner Brothers. Wait, you want to delay the movie again? Okay. Coming out never. <laughs> this right, the DC lineup. Oh, you mean like Marvel with Captain Marvel? Quiet, you. Next. You know what? You know what they're doing? They're waiting to see how how bad Wonder Woman is before they release a movie with a female lead. Yeah. yeah. Spoiler. Spoilers, people. Spoilers, people are already saying Wonder Woman's bet the best DC movie so far. That's are fine with me. I are, plan on seeing it. Are you sure about that? Because that's what people said about Suicide Squad, and look what happened. <laughs> yeah. It I mean, awesome. Suicide Squad wasn't as bad as some of the other DC movies, so, you know. Yeah. It, it, for it's being not... a movie comprised of only jobbers, it did fairly well. To me, the DC movie franchise is just the equivalent of a child trying to stop a Jenga tower from falling when it's already at a 45 degree angle. <laughs> it, it's a three it's a three year old trying to climb up the down escalator. But it's not the Green Lantern movie. <laughs> I have Next! that movie on I have that movie on Blu-ray. So do I why isn't it Green Ray? Anyways, next why did they do that like they did with the Grinch. So, last week, I think, we talked about the fact that a humanoid laser form was spotted on site, and there have been more spy shots showing our old friend Mr. Kiria on set. Some people are speculating that he will be revived in the show. A lot of other people are speculating that this could be his return in the true ending movie. We don't know yet, but it, it, it's, it's he is going movie. to appear. Like, it's gotta be for the movie, because there's only two months left before the movie actually comes out, and that's when they usually get all the filming done. Will Thegar. Yeah, this also time will tell. and uh, not to dissuade any of opinions, but there was also one of the shots includes uh, a gamer driver sitting on a desk with Boxo bike in it. So. With a trampoline. Yeah. Yes, the trampoline's the most important thing. Yeah. <clears throat> but guys, where's the new rider? Isn't that cool or what? <laughs> Think of it. Like probably by next week we'll know what who the next common rider is. Yep. I mean, we already know what it is because we saw that uh, magazine scan of the Hurricane Ninja Gash. No, 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 no. The next Oh, you mean the next primary rider. The next series. Next show. I don't want x to end, though. It's Me so neither. Good. I want Kamen Rider scene to happen. No. Wouldn't the next rider be V3 since they already did Ichigo and Nigo? Fuck off. Haha, <laughs> I got jokes. I don't, I don't get it. Kamen <laughs> Rider the next. The oh. next rider would be V3. Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here with your bullshit movie! Get out of here! And speaking of things that need to get out of here, Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel has wrapped up filming. Thank fuck! Yeah, really. Oh every moment! We, every day that they've been filming, I get a on, headache! I just, seriously, are we already on Super Ninja Steel? No, no, yeah. basically, they film all of it at once during, the, during an eight month period. Oh. So, which it's a Super Ninja Sense. Steel has finally had a, like finally finished wrapping up, and the reason and we now we this... get and now we get to watch it for the next several months. <coughs> Maybe you get to watch it. I don't have to or do any not. of that. <laughs> or not, we cannot. Yeah, yeah, even yeah, even Ryder Town Radio is not covering that shit. Car, are we still need to watch it? But no. Yeah. no! Yep. No. Yes. No. We've already gotten through the first eight episodes. But we're finishing it. Piss off. Anyways, the reason this was noticed is because the actress who plays the Pink Ranger posted on her Instagram, Last day in the suit! Okay, whatever, she's hot! Okay, okay. 
they do know they can't show off that shit, right? Apparently not. <laughs> but, like, remember when, like, when the cast members showed off the logo for Super Ninja, sh- like, shit? Yep. I'm, I'm gonna call it Super Ninja shit. And basically, <laughs> she got yelled at it's, for it. It's funny that you mentioned that, because something similar happened in our next story. What? Uh, because we got to see another shot of Ninja Super Ninja Steel's documentation, uh, there was also a, an image shown to about with the Super Ninja Steel logo, uh, which also has a face under it, which belongs to Juza Yumihari, the villain from the Ninja movie, which means he's going to be the villain for and Super Ninja Steel. And Gar's out of here! <laughs> Hey, at least we're not getting Kiboni Gangets anymore. I don't know. Like, he was a cool villain in the movie. The series. <laughs> and Kelly, just in my room, is right now, is going. <laughs> Probably just scared the fuck out of Kelly. I hope you know that. Oh no, I won't. <laughs> lazy. You're fucking lazy, Chaplin. It's, it's just You're a lazy son of a bitch. It's just like. did this with Stein and Super Dino Jerk. I was about to say that. This is lazy bullshit. Lazy. I'm Ripcon. <laughs> fucking bullshit. When the fuck did Scarlet Ripcon Fuck. Okay, I, shut I, I up! I just want to hear okay. Gar do the Skeletor laugh in that voice. Molar, I'm turning <laughs> dentist! <laughs> I son of a bitch! Anyways. I'll get you next time, He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is Gar hasn't heard anything you've been saying. <laughs> yeah, Gar, we're, we're finishing the show. <laughs> you were saying? Next story. Next story. Oh, oh, um, so the DC Power Ranger crossover comics are ca- being canceled. Gar's headphones are off again. Yeah, Gar's mad. <laughs> Gar oh, mad. You just Gar can't have anything mad. good in life. For Gar is Gar. sad. When it's only a six arc miniseries, and it's like, nope, 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 we're not even going to finish it. Nope. It's a, but why? According to Bleeding Cool, issues 5 and 6 of Justice League slash Mighty Morphin Power Rangers have been shelved. Though it seems they will be offered again at some point down the line. The issues were scheduled for a May and June release, and neither company has said why the issues have been pulled. Well, then again, this wouldn't be the first time these comics were pushed back. Well, I mean, it is summer. A lot of people are going outside and stuff. They probably don't want to read comic books. They'll probably wait until it hits the fall to release them again. Kind of fucking weak ass nerd no, today. No, no, they're gonna be fucking dicks and be like, "Hey, you wanna know how the story ends? Here's the trade, like here's the trade back. It has all six issues in it. It's like, Eighty bucks. Yeah, yeah. No, like, you know what they're gonna do? It's gonna be a trade back with a fucking black and gold cover that they're gonna release in San Diego Comic Con. <laughs> it's gold. just again. Legacy the, the, Power Ranger comics. Again, this isn't the first time Boom Studios had to delay a comic. Like for instance. The Pink Ranger miniseries. Issue one was delayed by not just a week, not just two weeks, a month. Whoa, a month. Okay, That's a long so I just time. About something really cool that they could have that they could do. This is why I don't read comic books. You know that like that uh, green and white ranger, like hybrid ranger guy. Lord Dracon. Make a legacy figure of him and have him come with the last two issues of the comic. <laughs> Why? That's Bandai. This is Boom. There's there are two different things. They, Co- yeah, companies can work together, that, Gar. Tell that to Hasbro and the entirety of the old generations line, where every Transformer came with a fucking comic book from IDW. Correction: It came with a with a spotlight issue. Those are different. Ooh, ooh, it's sense. still a comic book. Not, You're not, a comic like, book. Not as big as this comic book. Evidently, it's not that big because it got shelved. It again, it's only six <laughs> issues, and it's like I just got issue four this week, and it's like oh yeah, issue five and six not happening. It's like you fucking mentioned. man, you really got a lot of issue about these issues. Oh, it doesn't help. This is what happens when it's like we're gonna have a second ongoing series. Well, about the you know current mini series you guys are doing. Fuck that no, shit. No, Gar, you have to understand. They were, it's, Quick, they said somebody that hand Gar some tissues. 
They said they were, yeah. they, they said they were shelved, so you just gotta go to the combo company's house you have and to go, go on their the, shelf and steal them. Yeah, it's all, you have to go to the shelves oh, and get guys it. did not like that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Next Damn. story. Stop yeah. throwing shit at me! I want to throw shit because I'm mad at this. I'm mad as heck and I'm not going to take it anymore! Like, I didn't mean it! These better be released down the line because this is unfair. This is How can this unfair. happen to me? This is cruel and oh, brutal punishment. Even unfair, if the story you know, is like, shit. This is unfair, just like every writer's spe- writer side special's last episode being part of a DVD release. Oh, oh. yeah, but that you know that makes sense. So because they're you know, <laughs> releasing it with another. Product. Oh, this makes sense, but yeah. selling the comic books with a figure doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, because it. it does. <laughs> okay, oh. we next spent story. Happy James. First off, Lord Dracon. Do a is, side episode explaining no one cares. Lord Dracon is from the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger comic. You know what else is from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Power Ranger the Megazord is getting a new Funko Pop from SDCC. That's San Diego Comic Con, Ichi. Wait, that's the Pop Vinyl? Yeah. Amazing. Funko's new SDCC exclusive. San Diego Comic Con. I know what it stands for! Don't say the loud. Why are we know, people know. What's happening here? I don't know! I can't hear! <laughs> Evidently San Diego Comic Con. Uh, this really cute-eyed Megazord pop figure, six inches tall, priced at $20 at the event. However, it'll be limited to 8,000 units. Only on sale from July 19th to 23rd until it hits eBay at scalper prices. Ooh, I love they specified that detail. Just like, it's gonna go on eBay for all. Oh my lot. god, the fucking picture of it the, the way it's got like this line along its like mouth plate, it makes it look like it's just going, hmm. <laughs> no, not know, happy. You know why I didn't think this was a pop vinyl? Ow. You know why I didn't think this was a pop vinyl at first? Why? Because the eyes aren't black. That's. That's racist. true. <laughs> yeah, no, most pop, a lot of pop oh, vinyls oh, are like. Oh, you black mean eyes. like with the Ultraman one? Where it makes zero sense whatsoever? If it doesn't transform into tank mode, I don't want they it. They can make Ultraman pops, but they can't make Kamen Rider ones? Come on! If Ultraman's what? You, you know what I Ultraman see? is more popular. I am pointing to my book because they mentioned Ultraman several times in this book. Well, no wonder you like it. Give me that book I want to see Transformer pops. Well, we kind of had that. Robot mode. <laughs> see? I can point and tap books too! <laughs> Next! What's Man, that's some vigorous wanking over there. What the oh, fuck? Yeah, you know, Speaking of wanking, roll. we have a poster for the Girls in Trouble movie. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of wanking! <laughs> and, and then I'm Raven fix, just so takes off his headset and walks off. <laughs> oh, I want to I fuck that female kaijin right there at the bottom left. <laughs> that's a guy. I, I oh. hope that's, I was about to say, I hope that's female. <laughs> Whoa, it's geez. a movie called Girls in Trouble. It better be a fucking female. Uh, <laughs> we've talked about this a bunch. Sorry. It's coming out June seventeenth. It's uh, like a prequel to Gavon versus Decker Ranger or something. Yeah, and the poster is real neat. It looks like a fucking Kill Bill side shoot. Decker Three. We're gonna happening. get a message from this guy who's just been like a listener to our show for like a long time or just recently, and he'll just gonna be like, "What the fuck, guys? No, no, it no, used to be no, about no, the no, news." No. We're gonna get that one guy who complains that we shout too much, and they just go listen to this episode. There was a guy who complained that we shouted yeah. too much. He, he mainly specified me, because he's just like, yeah, you yell too much. And I'm like, loyal and loud, it's in my fucking name. Have you met me? Yeah, exactly. Hey, King Kai, did I we're, learn we're to just cut gonna, okay? We're just gonna get a comment. You used to be about the news. That's what I was just saying. The <laughs> then Noble started coming on. I'm just kidding. No, no, no so there's gonna be that one creeper that's gonna be like, Where's Dreamcaster? I miss her. If you I'll have... I'm inadvertently helping Gar achieve his final four. <laughs> what, Super Saiyan yes. Yellowcaster? Let the hate flow through. <laughs> if you have had any of these thoughts, please post a comment. You know what, at Amory North next weekend, I will buy a Super Saiyan wig and wear it. Okay, you know what, Gar? You know what I'll do for you? You know what I'm going to do for you? What? I'm going to take, I'm going to buy some Power Ranger comics, I'm going to buy some DC comics, and I'm just going to rip just them in half, <laughs> take, blue, them take them together, there you go. Then you'll have please, more of them. Please do that! I want to post that! Bring me out destroying the city, summon the mechas. 
Radiax <laughs> attack it! <laughs> Summon the Mega Batwing! <laughs> Radiax, I go get them, my buddy! Superman! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what the we fuck? just created a better I, I have my moments. <laughs> I have my moments. Honestly, we made a better comic than In the first the three issues. Rangers Among Us. Like, the only good joke so far in that comic series is where Zack sees Batman. He's like, who are you? Pies behind them. Boom! Okay. So he yeah. pulled a Rafiki? Yeah, basically he just punches the pie right behind he, he him. He pulled a stereotypical badass in 90% of action movies. Yeah. From the 1980s? Yeah, let's have fucking Power Rangers being in Justice 2's DLC. <laughs> yeah, let's have Rafiki in Justice League! <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, Rafiki from Lion King? Yes. As opposed to... No, you're not... <laughs> Rafiki from next door? In insert Rafiki. Hey, Rafiki! Insert, yeah. insert Rafiki line here. Uh... Either you can run, or either you can run from it. Or you can or... get to the next news story. Oh, what is the next news story? All right, come right, girls. Speaking of girls... Girls! Girls! Girls, girls, girls! girls. Uh, apparently Kamen Rider Girls might release a brand new album this year. <laughs> might. Might. This was worth po including? It, it goes with the next news story. Okay. Okay, well, next news story. Uh, Can we just call this episode Perfect Segways? <laughs> perfect Segways? Perfect, perfect Segway. Plug no, I'm gonna call it Perfect Plug. What's the next perfect story? Perfect Plug. Perfect Plug. Perfect Puzzle. There you go. <laughs> Two peas. I don't care. I'll... <laughs> Next. Speaking of Kamen Rider Girls. Uh, Mitsuki Endo graduated from the Kamen Rider Girls. Graduated? Graduated. Gra graduated. Uh, Con Congratulations. No, no, no. Gar I, no, Garmer. No, I, Garmer. <laughs> Hashtag Garmer. I had slime in my mouth. You know what the best part about saying that this member graduated from Kamen Rider Girls? She was the one who played, who represented Forza. You want to know the sad part? Ah, graduated like Forza yeah. High School High! You want to know the sad part? I don't and, know. Now and she can get the hell out of the group. Yay. Now there's only four members of the group left. Oh, there were no. four members of yeah, the group. Yeah, because remember... There are four members! Because remember when the Deno chick left to go do... No, I don't! You don't remember that news story? No, I'm not interested in them. Oh, all right, you don't like them, apparently. I, they haven't produced a single song that I've enjoyed. I like that excited song from the Gaim album. Yeah, man. But yeah, she graduated May 3rd from a live show. Oh, and the Forza song we did. That was good. Oh, Sayate? Yeah, that's a great song. That's it. Okay, okay she, next. She, she's no longer in the group. Uh, Kamen Black Siyumi Takuchi to host Kamen Rider Black Spe Event! Speaking of Kamen Rider. Said, Speaking of women. So uh, have you noticed? Girls in trouble. Women. Comrade girls. Women. Graduation from a, from Comrade girls. Woman. Gary, Comrade are you, black. Gar Woman. <laughs> are, you, are you trying to... It's all like, coming together. ...something through the news? <laughs> I'm sensing Do you have a, a girlfriend? Sensing a theme. Oh. No, the theme is that he wants one. Oh. If I want to find the right one. Maybe if I talk about <laughs> girls enough, one will overall appear. Art. Sorry, what was that? But that's his overall arc. <laughs> Marge, I don't have a character arc. <laughs> Homie! <clears throat> Ayumi Taguchi, best known for her role as Katsumi Kita in Kamen Rider Black, will host a special Kamen Rider Black talk event in Osaka at the Iroi Mura. Uh, she'll also be joined uh, by Hi uh, Hitomi Yoshi, who played High Priestess... Bichim? Bush Bishu. It's Bishium, but I'm going to head cannon. As Bitchian. <laughs> Bitchian. And Kamen Rider Black suit actor Jiro. O Jiro Okamoto, yeah. who also did Ixa and a bunch of other good writers. Yeah. Which, isn't that him right there? Oh, hey. Probably. That's probably cool. him right there. He looks like my Uncle Rick if he were Japanese. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, Rick. <laughs> did you tell your Uncle Rick about the show Rick and Morty? I don't think so. You should tell him about Rick and Morty. Sure. Does he have a grandson named Morty? <laughs> Ichi, make him a grandson, name him Morty. No. I don't think he can give his uncle a grandson. Yeah, mostly that. It's possible. Anyways, the event... No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. And if it is, I have questions. Or shut up. <laughs> the event will commemorate the 30th anniversary of the franchise 
Which will happen on May 21st. Holy shit, has it already been 30 years since Black came out? Yep. Has, have they been really doing that long? Does that, wait, does that mean next year will be the last year for Kamen Rider, then we're gonna go on, like, a 10 year break <clears> again? <throat> Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Next! <gasps> okay, so they revealed official images for SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Genmu Zombie Gamer Level X. And it's fucking pretty, and it also comes with a Gashikon Sparrow. <laughs> okay! <laughs> we got the- Laser Level 5! Now we have the Gashikon Sparrow! Can we please have laser level three? No, because he's dead. There's no more excuses! It is. You, no! It couldn't be less work to make one now! We're gonna get it's laser like, level three as that, like, Tomashi event yeah, exclusive. Yeah, Tomashi event exclusive. And it's gonna be, like, $300. Ah! But, like, like, Proto Drive. And, uh, and, uh, Baron Lemon Energy Arms. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Everyone be. wants to be a dick. To eat you today. To eat you today. <laughs> the figure, the Genma figure stands 150 millimeters tall. Comes with interchangeable hands. Premium Bandai Web exclusive. Yep. 6264 yen base price October release. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay that, Are you telling me that the zombie is coming out on Halloween? I already made that joke a no, week ago. No, no, think of it. I know. No. But think of it. It's worth saying again for people who didn't listen to that episode, fuck face. It's, it's funny, because the way he's holding the sparrow, he's like... You want this? No, 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 it's like, his head's tilting, so it's like, what the fuck is this? Thing? Where, where'd I get this? That's like, it's a how do I eat you? you? <laughs> how do I eat you? <laughs> eat me! Oh, no, I used the menu, okay? <laughs> Kirito, I have XP. <laughs> Am I dying? Next. Last story. Snake oh. Pit Studios to produce officially licensed Power Ranger cosplay. And there goes Annie Key co- uh, Like, Annie Key. Annie Key cosplays. Yeah, Annie Key cosplays. There they go. They're gone. Uh, Alright, so uh, they have announced. Snake Pit has announced via their social media accounts that they have partnered with Saban Friends. <clears throat> uh, what exactly they're doing has yet to be announced. But they have confirmed they will be providing officially licensed costumes to the public. Uh, this group uh, apparently was the one who produced the Green Ranger costume that Jason David Frank wore in Bat in the Sun's Super Power Beatdown Green Wait, Ranger vs. Ryu. Ryu episode. Yep. Yeah. That's and they, cool. and they produced the Blue Ranger costume that David Yost wore for Dare. Yeah. And apparently they have a lot of other costumes that they make, including DC Comics, Marvel Comics, and more. Cool. Wait, wait, so they actually make, like, a costume based on a comic? It's like some sort of comic costume. (laughs) (laughs) You know, the X-Files theme? You were making the triangle thing with your hands on, like, Illuminati? Illuminati Illuminati confirmed. (laughs) <clears throat> okay. I can't open this cupcake wrapper! Here. There we go, I did it. Oh. And that's our last news story, Lane's Cupcake. You know what? No, this is the new, this is the last news story. I'm gonna go get a drink. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, af- after shouting fuck. What, what drink are you after getting? All, what does it cost? After, and... all of, after all of that, Gar needs a drink. What? Well, yeah, he probably murders his throat <clears throat> doing that fucking Skeletor impersonation. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Skeletor? I don't sound like Skeletor. When you were just like leaning over the mic in rage. Oh, you mean that voice? Okay. That one particular no. voice. Sounds more like Dinobot than Skeletor. Dinobot doesn't sound like that. Dinobot from Beast that Wars! Sounds, that uh, sounds that was nothing Lock. like Dinobot. Jeez. <laughs> Bevin, you disgust Alright, goodbye everybody. You. See you on the podcast proper. Wait, wait. Chip Lane, if you ever listen to this, all I have to say is, you idiot! Classy. Bye. This episode of Cast Ranger has been brought to you by the glorious donations of our cast patrons, Oliver Nelson, Joel Maroney, and Chris Laird. Thanks very much.